in a season as this or in a time or at times as uh, this. So we are discussing ecumenism. Uh, it is a wide subject, but I will try to just go um, or narrow it down to understanding today. We will continue later when God gives us an opportunity. So let us start um, with the word uh, in simple terms, ecumenism. The word simply means the principle or M of unity or promoting unity among Christian uh, churches. The principle or M of promoting unity among different Christian churches or denominations. So the M or the principle of promoting unity unity uh, among Christian denominations or churches. We have uh, local organizations or locally we have organizations that um, promote ecumenism in Zambia but uh, internationally we have also. Let me be quick to point out to the Council of Churches Council of Churches of Zambia, CCZ, as one of uh, the organization that promotes ecumenism. When you look at uh, the CCZ, you are talking about different denominations coming together to foster unity and uh, love among churches. In CCZ, you find entities that uh, go denominations like uh, Reformed Church in Zambia, we have the United Church of Zambia, we have the Methodist Church, we have the Kimbanguist, we have the Lambaland Baptist, the, and, and many others, Brethren in Christ, many other denominations coming together. They have different uh, doctrines, but they are together to promote unity and good works as well as love. So we'll be talking about love in other words, we'll be talking about unity and we'll be talking about being human. And that is all about ecumenism. When we use the word propagate we are simply in saying to make known. The word propagate simply means to make known. Amen St. Matthews. The word propagate is to make known widely. If I say, I am propagating the gospel of truth, or I am propagating my personal agenda, I'm trying to say, I am trying to make known my agenda, or I'm trying to make known the gospel. By the gospel, obviously, the good news about the risen Christ. So if I say, we are propagating to the nation, I'm simply saying we are making known the good news of our Lord to the nation. But then, what is this season or time that we want to talk about? Because our theme says propagating a spirit of ecumenism, we are discussing ecumenism, in times as this or seasons as this. Let us try to establish the times and the seasons that we are talking uh, about. Generally, if we look at the weather now, or the season we are in, we are in a cold season. Obviously, in some parts of the world, it should be summer. And then parts of uh, uh, the world, some it's winter. That is from the general perspective of weather. But then, let us narrow it down to us here. In a season, that is the season we are in, but we are also in a very difficult season of the pandemic. So that is a season on its own. A season of the pandemic. And this pandemic is ravaging our communities 
and as such fear has gripped us there's mourning sicknesses so it is a time that we are in but it is in this time also that we want to promote ecumenism so meaning we want to promote unity we want to promote values that we call human but we want also to promote love but also we can take further and look at the political environment in which we are in as a nation we are in a season of campaigns we are in a season in to which we are saying in less than uh, two months to be precise should be six weeks or so we'll be going to the pause and so when you look at the environment the environment is really tense out there politically there are so many issues uh, I, was, I, was, I was saying in the first service uh, jokingly that uh, the pandemic somehow has quenched the noise because if it was uh, the normal times it could have been noise all over political rallies all over and, and, and the like and so we are in that season as a nation but also uh, this is if I, if I can remember I don't know it's 10th day or so uh, we are in a season of mourning we are, we are mourning uh, the founding father of the nation may he so rest in peace. So when you look at all these, these are times we are in. And there are so many things. I don't know, at a personal level, at a family level, the season you are in. Some of you are in the greatest seasons of your times. Others, you are in the worst seasons of your lives. And others are in the in a, what you don't even know as a season now. But we want to promote or propagate the spirit of ecumenism. So we have laid the foundation of the seasons and we know what we mean. Then the big question is, if ecumenism is all about working together and promoting unity among different denominations or churches, then the big question that should come is why should we work together? Why can't just UCZ go it alone? Why can't you go it alone as a family? Why can't you go it alone as an individual? Why should we, why should we be concerned with the spirit of ecumenism? Let us look at Isaiah chapter 1. I want us to take verse 18 and the word I am concerned with in that passage of scripture is let us now reason together. How I wish you look at Verse 18. I want verse 18. Verse 18. Use please the King James Version and uh, you'll have made my Danish. Mwampangayama. Mwabika pohe. Just verse 18. I will try to bring out the history in the, in the text. Come now, let us reason together. That's my interest. The word, please take note of the word reason. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as woo. That is, no, 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 it's not a metaphor. That's a simile. So we are looking at a simile and that is a simile which is there. So they are comparing or speaking about things as. But the word that I want us to use is reason. And don't forget that we want to answer this question. Why should we promote the spirit of ecumenism in this case? Why should we work together? The answer will be, or the answer is, God has called us to unit. Lisa, ali tuita mukutashani, mukuikata na nangu, mukubombe la pesa, pamo. Ba, 
But then, how are we going to do this? We have answered to say, God has called us to unity. If anything, it's unity in love. Oh, no, 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 it's the other way. It's love in unity. Because where there is love, definitely unity will be there. So it is love in unity. We are called to unity. But then, how are we going to achieve this? So the scripture then answers, says, come now, let us reason together. The way in which the way this, the, 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 that phrase is used, reason, or the word reason is used, it's not about us, you know, using our rationale. Yes, there is a sense of rationale, but in the context of that text, it is an agreement coming together, putting our differences aside and coming together for the common good. I went together, church. So come now, let us reason together. It's an invitation. The history in the text is that Israel uh, has become a, a, a nation that has forgotten about a covenant. There is infidelity to the covenant. But God overlooks that and invites them to say, come, I want us to reason. When somebody says, I want to reason with you, someone is saying, come, we have to find a common ground. Come, there must be a sense of compromise in our discussion. Come, there must be a win-win situation or a take-and-leave kind of situation where you and I will be able to agree or disagree but at the end of it or there will be something that will bind us together. So that is how the word reason is. Then when you go further, those are just, uh, that is a simile used. Uh, even though your seeds are like scarlet, uh, they shall be white as snow, though they are red like crimson. So meaning that you are really soiled in sin, you are soiled in division, you are soiled in so many things, but when we come together, we'll be able to reason and we'll be able to forge and so we are able to foster unity or spirit of ecumenism if you and I came together and respected each other or we came together and at least came to a common ground which is all of us are of God. Point number two. If you are obedient, if you are willing to do this, you will eat the best of them. So, in other words, the scripture is simply saying, if we are willing to force the spirit of a communism in the light of our saved death, then we we'll eat, we we'll eat the best of the land. And here is how. I put it church where the community is developed. You can talk about. But where there are divisions, obviously, nothing good will come out of it. And that is the point that you and I must begin to strive as we talk about uh, ecumenism. Come, let us reason together. As families, it is time for us to reason together. There are some people who are not ready to dialogue. And that has been a challenge. In our communities, there are people who are not ready to sit down. And as a result, you have different uh, statements. You've got so many issues coming. But remember, we are called to unity. Regardless of where we are coming from and who we are. Point number two. Ecumenism promotes love good work or hard work if you want and the sense of human Ubuntu if you want to talk about it in Hebrews 10 verse 24 yes verse 24 is my 
my interest nishinok pusha twa pusha mulu wa corona ecumenism promotes love sense of human and hard work um wcc world council of churches is an ecumenical organization and i know ucz is an affiliate to that and uh, it promotes love it promotes human and obviously hard work the ccz is one of them so then why should we promote why should we propagate a spirit of ecumenism at a time like this one simple we want to love each other as a church why in the body of Christ that's where you find people with hatred unfortunately muchech mwa ba bantu aba patana na ngwa ba kwa tolu pato in the church you find people with petty jealousies tuma jealousy sha kwa tano obuyo Church, that's why you find people who gossip. Church, if you are planning on going also, amen. Adi nang now if we if we have to call, why are we not on our setting on the one? Sanga tulo mo ni kabu ino. Tureenda pa ba na benda na ma boko kuno maga. So when you see hatred in the community it's not just in the community it's also in the body of Christ. It's also among denominations. Do you know that the times that we spend time preaching against each other at the expense of preaching Jesus. You see that will be here defending each position. Let me say this. We we'll never agree when it comes to doctrine. The best or the consolation that we can get, get my brother, is that uh, our doctrines must be coming from the Bible. But as denominations, we we'll never do that. No wonder when you believe God is not a Christian. <laughs> that one would be another subject for another day because that is full of arguments. God is not a Christian, so be careful the way you look at God. Lesa ba fi fi ya? Fi ya ba tala ndati ndi muina Christ, nangu tala ndati ndi Muslim. Lesa ba fi ya? So let me end there before I bring arguments. But the point that I'm trying to make is that there is a lot that we can talk about as denominations at the expense of preaching against each other. You see that will be there. Ushemi pepele idea ya bapente. Ngabale pepa batoloka toloka. Na uba pente batila. Ba you see that. Awe shua. Pakwamba. Pakabambe vena kanyimbo. There are two traditions nganabe mini na kwati fimuti. Mupashua mshirote. The, those are the things no 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 in ecumenism we have to promote love love regardless of the denominations but this love also must be promoted in our communities starting in your home let me tell you something when you see uh, people hacking each other in the name of political cutters It's not because their leaders have got no love. Some of them it is love lacking in their homes. They are frustrated. Wema wema. There's no way na lambo kutu komu nandi oko mfumine ngana alikwata ichitemwiko. So when you see people fighting, insulting, just like when you hear some of these elderly people in the name of being elderly but very young in the mind in south it's not because it has to be politics 
na kunganda vanse vanse because ngata utuka na kunganda wala so tampile pesa njebeni charity begins at home chimotana kuno when you see people promoting divisions among themselves instead of the spirit of ecumenism just know that nakunga ndefyo ba ifyo ba ngabalele eto mulo mo hapa muila hapa pano kupapa mule isho ati kumunga nda kumi habo ni wesi ababa mulo mo hapa walefu ayo tuba iche kucheche mwa isho ati mumushi ni wesi So then he says and now let us consider one another in order to steer up love. Let us consider there I'll pick the word consider. We can use let us have regard for one another, one another. Let us exhort one another. Let us respect one another so that as we do that we are going to steer what love each time we go chala kavamuri ifwe chambio kumfuika not each time we go icha bakanwa because there are people who tell you i love you not because really they love you it's because of what you have some people come and tell you i love you sometimes mule bala mwawe pusha one time apa mula and one is it because apa ni nsamba ndi ndi nsamfi ngana bana lukungu shoka ntwalira okunte ngamwa vha dawo nali kutemwe fine waina mule mwa tifuma apa kwa bana okulwala naona nali temwa ka shepo ka kene wako atakala wongoloka wintemwa pa mulandu wakashe shep Some people tell you no I love you because mulaba pela kosa something the moment you change or because you are working they'll simply say bala you bala you for but there let us consider with consideration we are going to take people the way they are and that's how the body of Christ is supposed to be not pet jealousies mbe na Kristo ulupato gossiping Machimono for bachi fola ku church. Hello wambi, ku church balalanda sana. But munganda mumya obali flow okulanda. Bize bize pa bana ba bantu. Machimono for bachi fola ba reverend ndekana chumona pe bwino bachi fola pe bwino. Katampire nabo. Go and promote love where you are starting. Be considerate where you are coming from. Then it comes here. And the church is failing to foster unity which we've talked about and love because within ourselves we are divided divided it's over f- it's five years now on an alien for national dialogue church yali filwa i know this is very 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 crucial but i have to speak it anyway because when you look at the position sometimes we take you discover that even as a church we are in a forefront of dividing people because we've taken certain positions essa tua frente Ula landa po foku la landa po foku la landa te kanya munthu andi tie imwe abena fia lo kutwa be benshi if we if what to item is it possible ko beba ewe bakula tumuna fati bane bane nswa ba chap momono mufia cha le tukanense you know releasing all sorts of issues no 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 kushafati kunganda mure tena nokuti natika twi ishi obviously lofo bayi kala takwa but yo kunganda bali babwino mu street mo baya mukutukana that's not being normal how can you really try by all means to adopt a lifestyle of a chameleon when you are a normal human being let us consider one another in order to stir up what love and good works why are we propagating the spirit of ecumenism we want good works to speak for us in fact scripture says imirimo shavo shikaita shano shikaba konka ngashi sumanga shibi fika konka but sometimes i always say this mwe bana bakwalesa 
I've said this without number. I'll say it again. You don't need to go out there. Stand on the mountain. I am a believer. I am a Christian. That has got nothing to do with your lifestyle. Imirimo shove shilala. Shilala anda. Sometimes no. Tula saka mana saa. No kuliyamo saa. Nanga maa uniform. Na tufuala. Ano wa shuma pepon. Na baka kanefi ya kukana. Iri entambo ida. Kwa ti yaku likulikilanga baku kalifia vayota. Na uka koku. Ipone no. Na uka ka. No kula posesha avantu. Ma koko ya vidi. Atinevo shuma pepon. Imirimo. Eish fule shala anda. Taba ni wanani. When we still love within ourselves, even when we are going out there, people say, there goes a child of God. Otherwise, the rest is hypocrisy. When we consider one another, we still love, and other people feel very, very, very important, and they will be able to deliver. So it's not just the body of Christ, but even in the community. Do you know that even as a leader, when you speak well and you respect others, they'll be able to deliver. Bambi we are too bossy within ourselves first. Who cares? Yeah, because these are the issues. We are so bossy and we want to stamp authority. You don't need stamp, you, you don't need to stamp authority with a negative attitude. You don't need to put up an attitude. If you consider others, you respect others, naturally they will deliver. So, my office is one thing. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going you've lost it. 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 No authority at all. The best we can do is to consider other others. We are a team. A great team. That is the spirit of ecumenism. We want to steer love. And so when we steer love, we love each other. And then it will be easier to work. Because this person will be feeling that I am also human. That's why I talked about ecumenism promoting human. Human. Their values. Ubuntu. Ubuntu culture, remember. Where I look at you as very, very important. And an entity that is equally or extremely important to our goal. So when CCZ says, you CZ and all that and all that, we are saying everyone is there. Don't don't for sometimes I've had arguments within us, UCZ, but you know, we are the largest protestant. To be affected. That is the spirit of pride and arrogance. That is pomposity of the highest order. That is a peacock kind of lifestyle. It's not about who is strong. <laughs> you know, in ecumenism, it's about considering others as very important. Important important. Just like if you never a politician up, do you know that your vote is very important? If I wake up, you can make a difference. That's why I put that chin di kasa na up. I put the photo di up. That's why I put that to fukamina with a lot of hypocrisy. Na mule to mo na wen. Our guys were about drama, but yeah. Lala <laughs> 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 
だけ入れした。はぁ。姉たやくさらんがやいさ、ばいさむくつぜんばいか。Le c a m p e r e v i a papa, n e b u t then because the shah, we are mukuvo. It's part of the, the spirit of ecumenism. Because when we were on the yo, fiam chalo, le c a m p e r e v i yes, at a cat me abangeli, wake se kusadila. This is a democracy. Niwe wo kusala. Yo, fiam pachalo, e finge, e fiam kumulu ni finge. Gavalunda cooking oil, Valelunda, Pamuna, what is your problem? Go and make a decision. It's a spirit of ecumenism. But as we do this, we have to consider one another, one another. And that's why, church, as I conclude, issues like tribalism do e s not count when it comes to ecumenism. Because if this church Is going to work with the other church, then you have to be ready that the cultural diversity in there must be accepted as well. Because they are coming, UCZ is coming with its traditions, with its people who have got different backgrounds, if you want, tribes. And even politicians should promote the spirit of ecumenism, not you who s a b a i l a Last time, I didn't a n d e r s t a n d I d i n t understand. I was in the middle of the world. 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 I was in the middle of Uyo uyo mtundu kwa bama ule. Njebeni mtundu kusha bama ule. <laughs> no, no, no. These are things. These are things that we must begin to look at. Because some of us are even corrupted in this. And we believe them. Uyo mtundu kwa bama mano. Njebeni kwa bafe fiko po fieka fieka. Oko haba kwa tafe ma low IQ. Haba ba icha haba ipa hunza. Haba di mitundu kusha pusana pusana kwa. Certain things we must begin to think and look at the bigger picture and how we are killing ourselves. <laughs> There is something that I want to make. It is political, but let me say it. Do you know that in Zambia there is no tribe that can form government by itself? I stand to be challenged. I wish you good luck. There's no such a thing. I wish you well. All the best. So we have no option. We have to steer up love. But when we steer up love, there must be human in us so that. This then must lead us to good works, not just in the body of Christ, but even in our communities. So, when you carry this spirit of ecumenism and you go out there as an individual, it will make a difference. Because, Opo Mukasanga, Mukeshiwok Chindika Bantu, Tekuba Chindika Pantu Bakulu, ah ah, Muleba Chindika, because they are created in the image of God and they are very important. Mukamboku Womba Nabo. Not because you want to worry somebody or Kuchila. If anything, no, I listen to somebody the son. Ule Womba Nava Shasambida. Well, Filo Kuiche, if you knew. Because what will it understand if into knew him? Number one, there was some believer too. Umun to Shasambia Barogan. So, where was some beautiful? Ule wish I come up there. I'm a breaks here. Mumbi was so lucky. For the good of each other, each other, even w h e t u tell you, it's a moon to me, moon to Chifuqua Chamunyak. And I like that. God into w o m a n to the moon? That's a moon to culture. That's the spirit of ecumenism. Iwe, 
as a church you are there na inendia hapa so ifunga tu waisa cha hapa mo ero tu ala baba abantu pamuna ndua uyu no you ala bako uyu nga taliko not abai chabachila imbati jesus there is no me without you it's not just about that it has to be vertical as well as horizontal you should also be feeling important that uyu we should be concerned uyu nga taliko na ineni nshili nshilipo uyu nga tali we know na ine nshili we we know it's not about sympathy it's about empathy you feel as if you are the one in those shoes and that is true christianity and as we approach god like that batata imini moshikambo kumo ukumoneka tibali abena christ chide chilo ngane chide chalo but as they, if there will be no such a thing nothing will happen but it has to start in our home in our homes then we influence others believers i challenge you today if you are a people who have harbored so much hatred within yourself then forget about challenging the world and forget about making zambia a better place to live in because it starts to start with you umo nefe bambitie ntulande kufe panon for massa katile findu mucheje bambifi ya kufola mwa kwata mwa fi kwata na nchi but mwalifu wa fi okupela fi okusaka mana aba nene e mo bene mula bamba nokubamba mone no fo bafola to masikete nchi te tumpele koyi bana maye mbale mwalo ongesha mna intina iteshan tamulira po nokula umumfu afe bwino i ile bridge tale upwa elo valetere i ile na ile kudela bampere fianshi nimeziam ama suit ba shifo ya mbiari fuma na mfasho mwali sunga i bought this one when i went to london so what are you in london what is your problem ah <laughs> wena imwe mwali fuma ko kale tamwa ba ko london and then we've got others then aba kutila ngaba pela fiom ichalo chonsi chala isho in the church ah una mumone fa apa ba chinda ma ah o shoto ali sa mona fa tawe le tatu social fie to treka tu apele of a social safe umuno mo lova ne ku kusa ne ku sa kufulila wasango wa pala ina tsenda tsenda mutu se banyi wakula ndo bwambate mulandu <laughs> in the church that's where you find such characters when they help people baba kacha kwa kansa ha wo shwa mwali nkonda munga nda mulya nicho fa twali saya kofie ikaleni ngabale fo aya bale bache shani e bale landa no timwe since when did you become an evangelist <laughs> since when So the body of Christ is challenged today that let us promote the spirit of ecumenism at a time like this one remember it's a season of a pandemic we are divided people are just living in their homes so you can even make up you can pick up your phone and call that person and say how are you you have steered love them how are you doing in this season you can share with someone things are tough mwa pita po fe mwa bantu baget hapo na shakwa kabunga that is a spirit of ecumenism at a season like this one na shako fie apope no tuma lemon pante konse to the fire kai no to ginger no to buch if it be kwa apa ta fire moneka ta fire moneka na mishila kwa apo how are you doing that is a spirit of ecumenism tulete mwana bane ngamwa kuma na ipati afu moku afu moku especially ba politician mwe baba mono mwaku mana mwalanda kofe mwatana ko not fear kula safe dion safe mulanda fie if is quite tenchito era fimbi mulo lota fie gana abapo kafumia victoria falls ku livingston kaileta ku isoka abantu nabo mwilala nde fio ya kwale apumule tu bati mulete mwa mulete mwa mane 
Based on the skills huh, that we've seen in the people, we look at them, we analyze them. Skills, not yo tuafuma kumokuin. Ushetu kariyoko tuafuma konsep. Yo, muntu wesu, ushirite wenu ninani. Let us now conclude. He says, verse 25. In verse 25, do not forsake the assembling as is the manner of some, but the big challenge is, what spirit have you promoted for us to gather together? Pafile pa boku ikatana, pafile pa boku temwana, pafile pa boku chindikana. No kulongana to wala chasha, ni? To wala longana. So, lida tuwa tuwa ni lafi ya, to wala mba nomba, what is the word used? We are going to exhort one another as we wait the coming of our Lord and Savior. So meaning that then as believers, we will have steered love within ourselves, unity and then there's a sense of your men and then when we gather, we are gathering because we want to encourage one another, we want to lift one another, the challenges, times are hard, we want to make sure that everyone is feeling comfortable and everyone is saying at least well, sir, I have Sometimes and that's why sometimes when I sit in the tonto at win a crystal, which is complicated, sir. Especially with the gifts, eh? the use of gifts. If you have a perfect lane, the one too, very complicated. Because I'm in the very land, quite a bone for a feeling, sir. Quite a baban bit a moon for no quite a much of what's now parade. Nello Valesa by life. No. The Lord ministered to me. And uh, you know, you've got to understand this. No, 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 no. A carnal mind cannot understand spiritual things. You are too carnal. Because you are too proud, Naomi. No ways. You know what? If you want to move your mind, she, he or she was at a disadvantaged angle. But when you show love, this person will see God in you. Sometimes you don't need to be a preacher like me. No. Of what was saying, the family. So I'm being a very land, whatever moon, what you echo, and what you ever lala patch for a chakra is. Kanchi na benso kashila ba pepe kutulu. Shula ba pepe ka. We have no option but to steer the spirit of ecumenism at a time as this, so that our communities can change our homes, communities, churches, and indeed the environment in which we live in can be a better place to live in. Go out there. Be a person who shall inculcate the spirit of ecumenism in others. God bless you.